have to tell you. Mm. These are the best muffins I ever had. I'm supposed to meet a client for a house show today, but <laughs> I can't stop eating. Maybe you know him. Mr. Nolan Cassidy? Um, can say that I do. A realtor with a taste for the sweet things in life is in Whittleton Creek to show a house to Nolan Cassidy. It looks like he's stuck at a local muffin stand at the moment. It would be a shame to keep Cassidy waiting, wouldn't it? Well, he's, uh, he's interested in the Schmidt house down the road. You know, the one that police shut down after the, well, incident. I'm not really from around here, senor. I don't know anything about that. Ah, I see. Well, never mind. He can wait a little longer. I need to squeeze a couple more of these beauties down. Hello. Welcome to Granny's. And thank you for shopping locally. We have to keep... Huh? <sighs> Why me? Why me? It's just one of those days. Restroom! Restroom now! Uh huh. Mr. Cassidy, I'm sorry for the delay. I'm ready to take you to the house. About time. Let's go. You know which one it is, right? Last one on the right, far end of the road. Let's see what sort of secrets she holds. This is the downstairs living room. It is most commonly used for watching television and other recreational purposes. Large room with two easy to get to exits, dark floors, 
hide stains easily. A room with lots of potential. That's all fine. Is there more to this house, though? This is the downstairs bathroom. Useful when cleaning off after a messy day of work. What about storage possibilities? Anything of that nature you could show me? The kitchen. Gas stove. Vinyl floors which can be quite slippery when wet. Along with the bathroom, the kitchen is the most dangerous room in the home. Yeah, that's not gonna make me buy this place. Let's move on. Oh, hi there. I'm now going over to Mrs. West's house. Good luck with the tour. This is the garden area. Manageable size. Good day to you, sir. Well placed shrubbery, useful for hiding yourself or other things. Tree house, which affords an excellent overview of the adjoining gardens. And look at all those lawn lamps. Good thing it hasn't been raining. I don't know. I'm not really feeling it in here. What else can you show me? This is the upstairs hallway. It connects all the rooms up here. Add a few closets or a large box in a corner, and the room's practical value becomes apparent. Eh, interesting, I suppose, but not really something that seals the deal for me. Yet another room up here. I suppose you could use it as an office or recreational room of some sort. Maybe a place to store your memorabilia. That's all fine. Is there more to this house, though? Here we have the master bathroom. Shower, toilet, double sinks. Perfect for the busy couple and large enough to allow for privacy, even when occupied by two people at the same time. What about storage possibilities? Anything of that nature you could show me? A spare bedroom, in case you have a lot of house guests. It could also be used as an upstairs office, or a storage space with easy access to the attic above. I don't know. Got anything more interesting to show me? It's all very familiar. The attic. Not too much to say about it. It's small, tends to be prone to a leaky roof, and likely houses various types of molds. What are you talking about? I don't care about some leaky attic. Get down here. This area was built during the Cold War. Isn't there a bunker or something like that nearby? Basement, maybe? It looks like something violent took place here. Hmm. Huh. The previous owner seems to have been connected with Janus somehow. The police report mentions they found him here what in a pool of blood. Someone the house has been sealed here. off until a few weeks ago. Looks like a Death was ruled as a severe allergic blood reaction. Blood pouring from the mouth and nose. Possible vomiting of blood. Distance between the pools indicates the person was conscious at first. 
but severely shocked. Handprint on the wall corroborates this. A person lost consciousness after 20 to 30 seconds, probably bled out in a matter of minutes. There's a strong chance this was caused by a severe allergic reaction or a straight poisoning of some sort. That's a very detailed description. Did you read the police report or something? I dabble in forensic investigation, among other things. I see. Well, let's get the hell out of here. Your standard garage, spacious enough for someone to set up a gym or training area, with some added soundproofing, an enterprising individual could use this for many things. Yeah, that's not gonna make me buy this place. Let's move on. And here's the basement. The usual boiler elements are to be found down here. And it seems a room with a safe of some sort. Now that is more like it. That looks just like a vault. This, this is very interesting. Nice yes, work, 47. Let's hope he doesn't set off the alarm somehow. All right, let me help with this. Advanced Kronstadt Matrix Laser Home Security System. <laughs> we used to break these open for training at the Academy. Trust me, buddy, you don't want to provoke me. The thing about these systems is, most homeowners are lazy. So, they don't reset the factory settings and enter their own codes. Let's just try the standard admin code. Just for fun. Well, what do you know? It worked. Looks like Schmidt was a bigger amateur than I imagined. So, Janus smokes despite being dependent on an oxygen tank and his bodyguard's insistence on hiding his cigarettes. I wonder what might happen if he combined the two.
Good work, 47. All there is left to do now is wait. 